Hi everyone, it's Andy here. I'm doing the intro halfway through the movie, so I know what you're going to get, and it's pretty cool. I've already got my prawns. I'll show you how I got those. Oh, there goes one. Some, uh, yeah, really nice sized ones there. And I'll show you how to catch one of these. Very nice. They're a thread fin salmon. And the rest, you'll just have to wait and see. There it goes. All right, nice shallow spot here. See if there's any prawns in it. Mm, looks like no prawns. What was that? That was something. Oh, there's a little salmon. He swam into the outside of the net. I think that's a blue salmon. Oh, yeah, a little blue salmon. Okay, off you go. He's good. Now I'm going to try and find some prawns. I'm going to shallows, maybe where there's some leaf litter, some something for them to eat. So they, um, they probably won't be out in the open where there's just, just muddy bank. I'm always looking around, um, just checking out what I can see. There's some crocodile footprints before. And all these little divots here are made by threadfin salmon or crabs. So the crabs bury into the holes and the threadfin, they actually um, bang their noses in when they're trying to eat. Need a long cast. That kind of worked. Oh yeah, there's definitely prawns in here. Okay, we have prawns. Come on out, little prawns. That's what we're talking about. Yeah, look at them. Let me just show you a few. Oh, and quite a few. Oh, I'm liking this. Oh, come back, come back. Don't go over there. All right, let's get them out. Oh, he got away, almost got away. All right, I gotta, I gotta get to work here. Another go, nice little drain here. Normally I'd be fishing these drains for barrows and jacks, but if I can get prawns, I'll get prawns. Prawns are one of my favourite types of seafood, and um, yeah, well hopefully we get some crabs later too. Alright, let's go. Let's go. That's not a bad throw, a bit short, but I'm going. Let's see what's there. Oh, yep, there's one prawn coming. There's definitely one there. Oh, and there's a fish, a little barramundi. Oh, I'll let him go. There's a little barramundi. Hey, come on, little fella. Oh, he swung right through that. There we go. Hey, okay, nice little guy. Off you go. Hey, yep, he's good. Oh, but there are some nice ones in here. And I think we've got another little barramundi. We have. It's good to see healthy little barramundi in here. Let's get rid of you. Hey, okay. come on. Off you go. There you go. Hey, nice. Where'd that big one go? Here he is. Look at this. Wow, that's a cool one. Look at the size of that. That is a big prawn. Okay, another whole bunch of them. It's a muddy business, but the results from this will be very nice. And this is why I don't go prawning very often. It's just a big mess of mud in my boat. Oh, I'm not happy about that, but we'll clean it out. So let's have a look at the ones we got just then. Yeah, actually, there's one really nice big one in there. Some of them are good, but this is the biggest one from from that cast. Look at that. That's a nice size prawn. Yeah, it's probably yeah, about 15 in there. So to catch my fish portion of the uh, smorgasbord, I'm going to use a 4-inch bomb shad by Boombaits. This is a, a lime 
chartreuse with a ball sinker and a little weedless hook on it. Fishing Samaki Zing 6 foot 10 to 20 pound spin rod and a Black Hawk 2 2000 Ecota reel. Very nice little combo this. Very light and um, yeah, nice to cast all day long. Oh, salmon. Oh. He's a little one. Oh, I'm gonna say he's undersized. Blue salmon. Or a thread fin. That's more the correct term, I'm gonna say. Let's get him up. Actually, might be might be legal. Let's have a look. So blue salmon need to be 40. If you stop flipping around. Yep, he is 41. All right. And he's not a really big fish, but you can see the hook's gone into his eye. So it's um, yeah, not good for him. Um, so yeah, we'll take him home. He's only just legal. Yep, 41. But yeah, rather than let him go and live with one eye, we'll just we'll eat him. And that's um, yeah, another oh, component of our smorgasbord. board. So, yeah, these things um, don't survive long out of water. And, uh, yeah, just bleeding and make sure make sure the meat is nice and white when I eat him later on. It's time to check the crab pots. They've been in for about six hours now. So I'm really hoping there's a nice mud crab in there. <coughs> Hello. You are undersized, I'm sure. Well, we have one crab. I'll have a look at you, you might be okay. Yes. Okay, that's him out of the net. He does look... Oh, I'll have to just measure him. Oh, he's just under. He's under by about three millimetres. Hey, okay. little guy. Alright, I'll let you go. Hmm? Off you go, buddy. Uh, undersized is undersized for me. So let's see how many prawns we've got. There we go. Oh, there's my bananas. Huh, I'll eat one of those. Always have bananas. Let's see, that's about, oh, about a bit over two kilos there. Tide's low enough. Let's go and um, find some oysters. Prawns, fish, oysters. Let's go have a look. I've anchored the boat and I'm looking for some oysters. These are all, there's plenty of oysters there, but um, they're all very small. Let's keep looking. I've got my backpack with me and uh, yeah, I'm going to make a little fire and hopefully I'll have a very nice smorgasbord or fisherman's basket. Yeah, you can see there's a heap of oysters, like every one of these is an oyster, but you can see how small they are. So I'm going to try and find some bigger ones. I might have to go keep walking a little bit further. These are all very, very small. I mean, I could, could eat them, but yeah, let's try to find some bigger ones first. I've walked about a kilometre now, and it's all these little oysters here. But if I grab maybe, yeah, that bit's loose. If I grab that, so I'm going to make a fire. long out here. And while we build the fire up, we may as well put our oyster feast where it's going to get cooked. There we go. That won't take long at all. Oh, despite all that clanging and banging before, I didn't bring a plate, so I'm going to Try and use one of these palm frongs and make my own plate. Oh, got him. Okay. Whoop, watch out for that. Okay. Oh, yep, that got it down. I think we'll cut it here. There we go. And we'll cut him down the middle. That should do nicely, I think. What I would really like now is a drink of coconut milk. And there 
Is it coconut? It's even got a nice little fork on the end. Let's see if we can reach that. We should be able to get that down. Go on down, Mr. Coconut. And there's milk in it. Yes. And there we have it. There you go. One coconut. Cheers. Let's go and uh, finish cooking lunch. Okay. That fire's ready to start boiling the water for the prawns. Yep, that's pretty good. So I'll just put the, the pot over here. Let that boil and then we'll throw the, the prawns on. Let's see. Do them opposite ways. Like I said, I've never done this before, but I'll give it a shot. Okay, I've got a system now. I'm going to do every second one. Make it a small plate because we don't need a, a dinner sized table. And that water's actually just about boiled, so let's um, just tuck this in here. Make it nice and neat. There we go. There we go, there's my plate. Beautiful. Hmm. Okay, yep, that's boiling. I've only got a few of them, I don't want to eat the whole lot. I'm going to take the rest home and have them for dinner. But that should be nice. There we go, let's have a look at these guys. Yeah, yeah, there's definitely a few I can eat there. It's been boiling for about oh, a few minutes now. Let's just um, give it a stir. And I think they're almost done. Yeah, they're almost, yep, I reckon they're done. Look at that. How nice are they? Oh, beautiful. Pull one out and have a look at it. Look at that. Beautiful prawn. Alright. Look at that. We have a self-draining plate. I like that. Let's have a look. That looks like an oyster right there. Sometimes they're a little bit hard to see because they're all like I mean this whole thing is just oysters everywhere. So, you know, I definitely will make a, a video with bigger oysters, but when this is all you've got, I'm happy. Mmm, how sweet are they? Salty and sweet. That's enough. There we go. And then, like in a couple of episodes ago, I've got some chips. Just going to um, crush them up. I've already filleted the fish. I don't like to fillet fish in every episode. It, um, it gets boring for some people. So I'm just going to get the fish. If you want to you see me fillet a fish, um, have a look at a couple of episodes back. I'll put the fish in there and just get him nicely coated in those broken up chips. And this is extremely delicious way of cooking fish and extremely simple too actually the oil's nice and warm now let's throw that in oh yeah look at that All right. okay let's get that one in oh yes that might be a little bit hot let's just take him over there for a second okay. first couple of pieces should be ready to turn oh look at the golden crumb on that Oh, look at that. That actually looks like KFC crumb. Bet you it tastes better though. Gotta eat some more oysters while that's cooking. They're just too inviting. Just so delicious. And even when they're really small, like like that, I mean that's that's tiny. It still tastes good. Mmm. The smoky flavour in that one. I think they're just about done. Let's just check the other side. Oh, look at that. Each time I turn it, it just looks more delicious. Oh. Yep. Yep, they're ready. Beautiful. There we go. Crispy golden brown battered fish. 
How good does that all look? The oysters are a little bit of a fail, but we'll get a few out of that. The fish looks amazing. I mean, have a look at that. Look at the crumminess on that. Let's have a taste. Mmm, how crunchy is that? That is so delicious. That fish was swimming around not very long ago. And now it's in my belly. Mm. Almost forgot something, the Thousand Island dressing. It's, um, yeah, tangy tomato, mayonnaise. And here's a little shell I prepared earlier. Perfect little bowl for my sauce. All right, let's get into one of these prawns. Oh, so good. Nothing better than fresh seafood on the beach. Get that shell off there. Normally you'd plunge these in cold water, but I couldn't be bothered to walk all the way down to the water again. But um, let's eat that. Look at that. Does that look delicious? I think that looks delicious. Mmm. Oh, how good is that? And that dressing just, um, yeah, it makes the prawn. It's just, oh, so delicious. Mmm. Mmm. But, oh, the fish is nice too. Let's put the fish in there. Crumb fish in some sauce. Mm. Beautiful. Mm. So good. So guys, I'm going to keep eating this. If you haven't subscribed already, you should. I, um, I do weekly videos every Tuesday. And if you're on my homepage, there's a little bell icon on that side of the screen, I think. I'll, um, I might put a little screenshot up just here. If you want to get notified when my videos are live or when, when they um, get published, press that bell icon and let, let YouTube know that you want to know my videos are getting published because YouTube doesn't always tell everybody and a lot of people are missing out, I think. Mm, how good is that? I also alluded in a previous episode that I was going to go overseas and that's finally happening. So I'm going to try and catch up with uh, Zofinger, um, Catch Em All Fishing, Monster Mike, Tall Fisherman Jay. Um, they're all in Miami. I'm going to try and catch fish with those guys, do collaborations, have some fun, and um, hopefully get some, some good episodes to you guys. So yeah, keep an eye out for those very, very soon. Um, the last couple of collaborations I've done with uh, Timmy Turtle and Ro Ro Rocket Kit, Rodney, um, heaps of fun and it's stuff I wouldn't normally do um, and that makes it exciting for me which makes it exciting for you I think so going overseas and filming is going to be a hoot so yeah definitely subscribe hit that notification button and keep watching every Tuesday